This is a uh, split stop wood screw. You'll notice right away it's a little bit different than most wood screws you use in the field because it's got a very fine thread. It has a fine thread, but it has more threads per inch. So you get greater withdrawal resistance with this screw than you do a coarse thread screw. For our purposes, it's designed with a true type AB tapping thread in that fine thread design. So this screw actually cuts its way through wood like a tap goes through steel. You can see as I drive this screw, I'm going to drive this screw with no more than squeezing the trigger and letting the weight of the drill drive this screw. Now most screws, once you got it down that deep, you could never move that screw any further. You'd just spin the head of the screw right off. This screw will just keep driving. As long as the bit you as long as you had a long enough bit to do so. Now nobody's gonna do that in the field, but it just shows you how easy that screw is to drive, and that's a result of that low torsional load thread. What that's indicating to you is we're not putting any load on the screw. So the results are you get a screw that you can drive into a knot without a pre-drill. Because the torsional load has been taken off of the screw. We create sawdust when we drive. You don't normally see screws that create sawdust. The other advantage is the fact that it doesn't split. You get very few splits ever with a split stop screw. Here's a piece of 2x2 two two baluster stock. The bottom piece has a pretty good sized knot in it. This is not even full 2x2, two two, and you can see I'm getting a number of screws all driven into that 2x2 two two without a split.